All right, guys, so for one, it's very, very hot out today. It's like 90 degrees. Two, we're gonna be installing the oil restrictor bolt from Damon Motorsports. I just gotta grab a socket I dropped down here. And of course, I dropped it all the way down. And of course, I'm not gonna be able to reach either. Now, I'm covered in dirt. So let's get started. I'm gonna wanna take the heat shield off. I believe they're 10 millimeters. Ooh, hot. Now I just got done driving the car and it's like 90 some degrees out, so it's gonna be really hot. But you're gonna wanna take one, Two and three. Three bolts holding in the cooler on, then you gotta disconnect your uh, hose right here, and you gotta disconnect your hose up here from the turbo. They are they're deep well 12 millimeters. Ooh, very hot, very, very hot. Okay. I'm gonna actually see if I have gloves. Well, I have gloves, but they're inside and I'm too lazy to go get them. Um, hose clamps, 10 millimeter, I do believe. Down here? Hey, Kaylee. It's really, really hot, man. Do not break the nipple off of your bypass now, because you're gonna have a bad time. It's not gonna be loud enough. You also gotta take off your recirculating hose. I almost forgot about that one. Woo. All right. Like I said, this is very hot. I just drove it, so that's why I'm using rags. Set it somewhere where there's not gonna be stuff getting into the intercooler. You don't want dirt getting in there, because if it gets in there, it's gonna go into your motor, and then you're gonna have a bad time. So there's gonna be three bolts. Well, normally four, but my fourth one's rusted out. So I only got three bolts to take off. So, I'm missing one and one's rusted out. So I only gotta take off three. And if you're doing this, this is a good time to uh, go to aftermarket. It's an eight. take the heat shield off the heat shield has to go back and then straight out at least that's how I think I did it before Ooh. like I said do this after it's cooled off so if you see what I mean I tilted it back and now I'm bringing it straight out because of this bracket right here it's in the way just like that all right so I'm gonna show you the oil restrictor bolt now See next to that silver line right there? Oh, right there. That's your oil restrictor bolt or your banjo bolt. So that's the one we're gonna pull out. I'll let you know what size it is. You're most likely gonna need an extension to get to it. This one has one hole, no others all the way around. And a hole all the way through. Make sure you can see daylight through that hole so you know it's in all the way through and it's 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 gonna operate correctly also if you're thinking about doing a catless downpipe wobble extensions will save your life well it's a 14 <laughs> Woohoo! hot very very hot as you can see, there's one hole, and then if I spin it around, there's two. This aftermarket one is going to restrict it due to less back pressure coming from the catalyst downpipe. You want a more restrictive oil 
banjo bolt because well these cars their turbo gaskets suck anyway so you really don't want to have to buy a new turbo as for the washer i only see one so damon motorsports gives you two i'm only going to throw one on there because that's all i see on the stock one now switch to the what is it, the 1919 for the Damon Motorsports one. And start it with your hand. All right, let's tighten down. Now we can reassemble and start her up. Oh, heat shield is still burning hot. Also, another thing people do this banjo bolt is because their turbo seals are leaking, even with the stock catalytic converters. And they believe that this will slow the oil to the turbo, stopping it from smoking. Um, that is just a band aid. Don't do that as a permanent solution because you're. If you, you're getting white smoke when you're idling and you have your catalytic converters still, or even if you don't have your catalytic converters and you're getting a lot of white smoke just pillowing out of your exhaust while you're idling, that's a, that's a telltale sign of your turbo seals going bad. So doing a banjo bolt is just gonna put a band-aid on the solution. Um, you're gonna need a new turbo. Uh, Road Royals on uh, YouTube, he's a Canadian. Uh, I've watched a few of his videos. He did an oil banjo bowl, hoping it was going to help. He did his PCV system, hoping it was going to help. None of it really helped. Uh, he ended up just buying a, a big turbo and throwing it on anyways. Take this one down. It controls your bypass valve. So now, as you can see, the stud came out with this one. I'm just gonna thread it back in as I normally would. So, one of these days I'll get an aftermarket intercooler. Just lay down just like that. Now I keep all my OEM parts when I take them off. I still got my down pipe, my stock test pipe, my stock exhaust, I got my stock intake still, I got everything. Just in case I ever do wanna revert it completely back to stock. I even got my stock fuel pump, your uh, fuel pump internals. So, that's all good. Now, I'm gonna make sure I can see the oil restrictor bolt, which I can. And then I'm going to turn it on and then watch for smoke up here. No oil's leaking. That's good. I know people who have done their PCV system catch can, EGR delete, you know, all this stuff, and they still have a little bit of oil consumption. Yeah, that's just uh, how these motors are, I guess. 